Sophia. I'm 10 years old and I'm currently studying in Tanjung Katong Primary School. During my free time, I like to draw or read. Today, I'll be chatting with Professor Tommy Ko. Professor Tommy, what does an ambassador do? An ambassador is a senior diplomat. His job is to be the eyes, the ears, the mouth and the brain of the country. So he reports on what he sees, what he hears. He represents the country by articulating our views and um, his overall job is to make sure that Singapore has good relations with other countries in the world. Professor Tommy, how many countries have you been to? Are they too many to remember? Uh, no, actually last night I sat down and made a count and uh, I found that I visited 53 countries in my lifetime. That's a lot. <laughs> how many countries have you been to? I think I've been to... Actually, I can't remember. <laughs> Does your family mind that you travel so much? Do they go with you? Not now, because my two, two children are grown. But when we were living in New York, I was ambassador to the UN. And I was also ambassador to Canada, to Mexico. And I travel a, a great deal. Uh, my youngest son, who was very young then, in primary school, he didn't want me to travel so much. And the school, in fact, reported to my wife that whenever I was away from home, my youngest son was nervous at school. And I remember once when my foreign minister was in our home for dinner in New York, my youngest son said to Mr. Rajaratnam that this job is not good for my father. He travels away too often. I miss my dad when he travels as well. It's very sad. In 2012, you spoke at the National Conference on Kindness. You said that we could be kinder to a few groups of people, elderly and disabled, colleagues, neighbors, foreign workers, other drivers and road users. Do you think we're better in these areas now? Um, that was five years ago. Huh? I, I, I don't know. I don't have empirical evidence <laughs> to see whether we have actually improved in our behavior or regressed. But I would say that uh, on the whole, Singaporeans are kind and compassionate people, but we can do better. What areas could we be kinder in today? I would like to refer to a few areas. Yeah. One, I think bosses can be more respectful and more kind towards their employees and towards workers. In many surveys, people have found that in Singapore, most of our workers are disengaged. You know, they, they're not happy at work. You know? And if they're not happy, they can't be uh, productive. So if we want productivity in Singapore to increase, I think one of the solutions is to make sure that workers are happy. Workers should feel valued, their bosses should be respectful and kind towards them. I think we can also improve in our attitude towards disabled people. It's getting better and better, but I will never forget an incident when a blind person called Cassandra was going down the elevator in the mall with her guide dog and some stranger threw something at her made her fall over and hurt herself. You know, this you cannot understand why someone would be gratuitously cruel, you know. But there's a certain attitude toward disabled people that I want to change. And I'm happy to say that the success of uh, a nominated member of parliament who is in a wheelchair, Chia Yong Yong, the success of our Paralympian, Yip Bin Siu and Teresa Go has projected a very positive image of disabled people and I hope it will change public opinion towards them. The other area I'd like to see improvement is our attitude towards foreign workers. I think that uh, Singaporeans tend to treat them either as invisible people, just ignore them, or when we acknowledge them, we don't show them kindness. You know? And we should appreciate that Singapore cannot work if we didn't have all these foreign workers here, you know. They help to look after our children, our parents. They help to um, do the housework so our women can go to work. They, they build our homes, our offices, our, our hospitals. So we have many reasons to be grateful to the foreign worker. And I think we should show it. Do you actively teach your two grandchildren, Toby and Tara, about kindness? Yeah, my, my wife and I, you know, try to teach them first to be kind to each other than to be kind to the two foreign domestic workers who help to look after them. And I'm very happy that, that they, they are. You know, they call them auntie, they tend to um, treat them as part of the family. So they are learning good values. And my, my grandson Toby, when I walk with him in the neighborhood, I will ask him to uh, acknowledge the foreign workers and, and greet them. 
because I want to inculcate in him the attitude that the foreign workers are here to help Singapore and we should acknowledge their presence as fellow human beings and be kind to them. One day hopefully a boy will like me. How can I tell whether he is really a good person and not just pretending to be kind to impress me? Uh, well, you, you look at how he behaved towards others, especially others who are in humble position, you know, who are less well off than he. If he is only kind and respectful to people who are better off than he is, then he's not really a kind person. A kind person should be kind to everyone, including strangers, and especially to people who are less well off than themselves. Professor Tommy, what is your biggest worry for my generation? Actually, I'm very optimistic about your generation. I think that you are very intelligent, well-educated, well-trained, and you will have a very bright future. But Singapore as a whole must not become complacent with our success. We must never become complacent. We will never become arrogant. And neither should we become pessimistic. One of the good things about Singapore is that as a people, we are an optimistic people. We believe that there are solutions to our problems, that we can make tomorrow a better day than today.